In this video, I'd like to show you a conflict monitor being programmed with flashing yellow arrow and what it would look like when programming that flashing yellow arrow. On your normal screen, you're going to see status or menu. You hit next to scroll over to menu and then hit select. On this screen, you want to hit next until you get to set view config and then hit select. Now on this screen, you want to hit next until you reach flashing yellow arrow. And when you reach that option flashing yellow arrow, go ahead and hit select. Now on selecting the flashing yellow arrow mode, you want to scroll until you hit mode H. Mode H is the mode that conforms to the way we wire and program the flashing yellow arrow in our TS2 cabinets. When you reach Mode H, go ahead and hit select. Then en en enable channel pair for the mode. Now in this screen, you want to actually structure what type of flashing yellow arrow phases you need enabled. If you only have two phases, let's take for example 1 and 5, you want to turn 1 and 5 on. Okay, for the purpose of this video though, I'm going to act as if all four phases are being enabled. After you enable all the phases you need, go ahead and hit exit, and it's going to ask you either set to memory, cancel or edit. Go ahead and select set to memory and then hit exit one more time. Now it's going to ask you if you want your flash rate fall on. Go ahead and hit select for on and your flash rate fault option enables the flashing yellow arrow output to be monitored for the lack of a flashing operation as well as it monitors to see if the output remains active longer than the fault time of 175 milliseconds. After you turn that on, go ahead and hit exit. It's going to ask you to set to memory, cancel or edit. Go ahead and hit select. Now once that is done, you can go ahead and hit exit one more time. hit exit one more time, go back to the screen, and then you're going to go ahead and reset your conflict monitor. Once you hit reset, everything will program to memory, and your flashing yellow arrow is programmed. That concludes the flashing yellow arrow program video.